when you look at this, you might be wondering. Is it real? Oh, it is. Oh, it's not? Stacia Joy gets a lot of that. But she views it as a compliment. Realism is her goal. Vegan taxidermy is what I call it. The only thing harmed in the creation of these pieces is paper. I've always loved nature and specimens. I grew up in an area that did a lot of hunting, so that wasn't like a taboo thing to be fascinated by. But yeah, I've always, I've always kind of thought if you love something that much, and especially if it's rare or endangered, why are we, why are we sticking pins through it? So, yes, so vegan taxidermy. These cut paper sculptures usually take hours and hours of cutting and tearing and drawing, a process as delicate and intricate as the creature's Stacia mimics, like using the feathered edge of paper to mimic the wings of these island marble butterflies, native to a single island in the San Juans. Parts of nature, plants, animals, uh, specimens that I find really curious or that a lot of people might not be very familiar with. Like the name Beastie and Bones suggests, Stacia doesn't stray away from dark imagery with a hopeful message. One of the mottos I have for Beastie and Bone is art and design inspired by nature and good nurture. Hope and tenacity and coming together in community. Three things Stacia cherishes as someone living with chronic pain and depression. Creativity and making art was my one way of really voicing what I was thinking and what I was feeling. And through her paper cut art and lino cut prints, Stacia strikes a balance. Yes, life is difficult and yes, life is finite, but that makes it more precious and makes it more important that we really pay attention to what are we feeding our energy into, what are we feeding our time into. And so she puts her time into honoring the creature she loves with gentleness and kindness and honesty. Thank you, 